guys, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin ang bell button para maging updated tayo sa mga latest happenings sa DepEd. Good day everyone. Today we will discuss the requirements to avail educational loan from GSIS. A GSIS now offers 100,000 educational loan. This is in response to the call of President Duterte for credit support to education in light of the economic effects of the pandemic. State Pension Fund Government Service Insurance System or GSIS President and General Manager Rolando Ledesma Makasait announced that GSIS is opening today a 20 billion pesos study now pay later loan program for the college education of GSIS members teens. We will allow GSIS members who have at least 15 years of government service to avail of an educational loan for their teens and colleagues. The loan has a term of 10 years but will not require them to pay anything in the first 5 years. So they don't worry, have to worry about the tuition of their children for the first 5 years, Makasayat explained in a radio interview. Under the GFAL Educational Loan or GFAL EL, the maximum amount that may borrow their academic year is 100,000 pesos, covering tuition and other school fees. The interest rate is only a GSIS member may nominate up to two student beneficiaries under the program. The two must be related to him or her up to the third degree of consanguinity or affinity and enrolled in a four or five year course in a private or public educational institution. The loan proceeds will be directly paid to the school under the student's account every semester or trimester until the beneficiaries finish their courses. Members including the special members who have at least 15 years of service may apply for the loan. They must not be on leave of absence without pay, have no pending administrative or criminal fees, and have no past due GSAS loans including housing loans. They must also meet the uh, required net take pay of 5,000 pesos after deduction of their monthly premium contribution and loan amortizations and their agencies must not be on suspended status. The loan has an insurance cover to protect the interest of the borrowers and their student beneficiaries. Thus, it will be deemed fully paid in case of a member or student dies or becomes permanently and totally disabled, Makasayat said. The documentary requirements for GFAL EL are 1. Properly filled out application from signed by the member borrower and duly endorsed by his or her agency authorized agency officers. 2. Photocopy of the latest tuition fee assessment form. 3. Photocopy of school ID front and back with three signatures of the student beneficiary. If the school ID is not available, the borrower may submit any valid government issued ID with photo signature and date of birth of the student. If the member has a second student beneficiary, the same documents are required to be submitted. Source, the GSIS. Thank you. Hello guys, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin ang bell button para maging updated tayo sa mga latest happenings sa DepEd.